The next step in any electrical layout is to add a panel. I'd like to go ahead and do that. We're going to add a power panel, then we're going to add a lighting panel. In my project browser, I'm going to scroll down to power, floor plan, level one. I'm going to come into this room right here. I'm going to go to my systems tab. I'm going to grab electrical equipment. Now, I'm going to click my drop down here, and I'm going to grab my M lighting and appliance panel board. I'm going to grab a 225 amp. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right on this wall here. If I hover over this wall, it'll either be inset, or if I hit my space bar, it'll be face mounted. Go ahead and hit your space bar and make sure that it's mounted to the face. I'm going to go ahead and pick this right here. Now I'm going to hit escape a few times. I'm going to select the panel, and it's already on a distribution system, which is handy. But there's a couple of things I'd like to do with it. First thing I'd like to do is scroll down in the properties until I find the panel name. For the panel name, I'm going to call it LP-1. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to select the panel. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to create similar. Now, I'm going to put the panel over here on this wall. I'm going to hit my space bar, and I'm going to flush mount it. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. I'm going to select my panel. I'm going to scroll up to panel name. My panel name is going to be PP-1. I'm going to hit enter. It's got a distribution system, and that's good to go. Remember when we cut this section over here? Well, we don't need to keep it there. I like to cut a section sometimes and just kind of move them around with me. So I'm going to select my section. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to click on my Flip Section button. I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to double-click my section. I'm going to zoom in, and everything's the way I want to see it. I can select my panel. Now, I know that this is my panel PP1. Select this panel here. I know this is my panel LP1. Get used to doing this in Revit. It really helps.